Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense, here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So, we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who was driving drunk, and he's concerned because he was only given 10 days to take some action. Let's see here. A police officer arrested me for driving drunk. I'm confused because the police gave me a pink paper saying that in just 10 days, the DMV will suspend my license. Okay, no, well, that's not exactly it, but it's close. Okay, the pink piece of paper that you received is something called the DS367. It is a temporary license. This gives you the right to drive for 30 days, 30 days. However, if you do not request a DMV administrative per se hearing within 10 days, they will automatically suspend your license after those 30 days. Now, unfortunately, the adequate information to request the DMV administrative hearing is not written on the DS367. And unfortunately, a lot of times people will call the DMV and the DMV will actually give people erroneous advice. They'll tell people, oh, just wait your court date. Oh, don't worry about it. No. It's important to, for an attorney. What we usually do is we send a fax over. That way there's actual proof. We send a fax over to the DMV specifically requesting an APS hearing. Once we send the fax over to the DMV, a stay gets placed where you can continue driving. You can continue driving even past those 30 days, sometimes months past those 30 days pending the outcome of the hearing. Now, once our office has that DMV hearing, the DMV has to show three things in order to suspend your license. Number one, they have to show that the police had probable cause to stop your vehicle. Number two, they have to show that the police adequately identified you. And three, they have to show that you were driving with a blood alcohol level of a 0.08 or more. Now, if the DMV cannot show those three things, they cannot suspend your license. However, if they can show those three things, they can suspend your license for up to six months. However, you can still get a restricted license to be able to drive from home to work and for other necessities. In order to obtain the restricted license, you have to obtain a certificate of insurance called the SR22. Then you have to enroll into a DUI school, either three, six, or nine months, depending on how high your blood alcohol level was. And then you pay the DMV 120 of those two things and automatically bam they will give you a restricted license to be able to drive from home to work and necessities but like i said if you have been accused of a dui it's really important to call our office it's super important to call our office as soon as possible here in the san francisco bay area uh, ideally within 10 days so that we can start the process of asking for that dmv hearing to see if there's any way that we could uh, rescue your license. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court, call us now for free consult at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.